Hi there, my name is Scott Duffy. This is for softwarearchitect.ca. In this video, I'm gonna answer the basic question, what is TOGAF? Now, TOGAF is an abbreviation, it stands for the Open Group Architecture Framework. The Open Group is a group of over 400 businesses, large enterprises, government organizations, universities that get together and work on this TOGAF spec. The TOGAF spec has been around in some form for decades. Okay, started as the Department of Defense, uh, got turned over to this open standard group, and now the, to the open group uh, manages and maintains the standard. Now, what is an architecture framework? An architecture framework consists of three things. One is a set of definitions. Two is a process for, gener for creating an architecture and three is uh, the tools and the extra things that come along with it to support the creating of the architecture. So the set of definitions is pretty straightforward. When I say the word stakeholder, it means something within the TOGAF spec. When I say a view, when I say, you know, business requirements document, those things have meanings, they're, they're defined. And so anyone who's versed in TOGAF, uh, when they say those words, the, they mean a specific thing. This sets the playing field level for everyone. We're not confused at what we're meaning by these terms. The process is really what's important. In within TOGAF, they have a process called the architecture development method. Sort form is ADM. The architecture development method is a set of phases that go around in a cycle and those phases contain steps. And as an architecture group, you're able to follow the phases and follow the steps one by one and by the time you go through the whole cycle, you've not only defined the architecture, you've implemented it and you're waiting for the next cycle to begin. So that's what's really great about TOGAF is now you, you're going to be able to customize it. Maybe the steps that are in the specification by default are not the right steps for you. You go in there, pull things out, add things in. Maybe the security team needs to have insight into certain things as you go along the way. That's totally customizable. The third bit about an architecture framework is these tools and extensions. And so if you need to uh, evaluate your ar own architecture capability, how good are you at creating architectures, there's an architecture capability assessment. Okay, if you're just starting out, you've got really no experience at this, you're going to be a zero on that scale. If you've been doing it for years and you've got very sophisticated processes and a really strong governance in place, you could be you know, an eight or a nine on that scale. So architecture capability is one, you're gonna have business capability. So how good are you, right, at customer service and creating products and executing, making strategic plans and executing on those strategic plans. Um, there's also the content uh, templates, the repository, architecture repository, enterprise continuum, the, the, the way that you organize your architecture into essentially files, the, or store within a architecture tool. So TOGAF contains all these things. Um, so that's it, that is what to, uh, TOGAF is. It is an architecture framework. It contains definitions, it contains a process, and it contains tools and extensions that allow you to, to uh, generate an architecture. So that's it. If you have any questions about TOGAF, if you have any questions about architecture, leave them in the comments. Uh, I want to get this thing going and uh, help everyone learn the exciting and, and, and uh, great field of software and enterprise architecture. Again, this is Scott Duffy. Thanks for visiting and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video. There's the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this as I create them. On the right, is another video about software architecture that you might enjoy. On the left, I actually have a course on architecture. I want you to check it out. Up above is my website. If you wanna go there, read some blog articles, things like that. And finally, if you have any questions about software enterprise architecture, just leave them in the comments on YouTube channel and I'd be happy to talk to you there. So thanks again and I hope to see you again.